changing minds, changing attitudes, bring ourselves to live a peace and one, show some love, hold each other. Welcome to the Princess Pata Fabio Show. On this show, we change minds and change attitudes on how you perceive things in life generally. In life, we have so many questions but fewer answers on certain, certain issues that we are facing. And that's why I'm here, to give you the kind of answers that you may be looking for for the questions that you have. I am your friend, I am your sister, I am your coach. I'm here to make your day a blissful one. Welcome. We are changing minds and changing attitudes. You are watching The Princess Pata Pata Show. On today's episode, I will be discussing dating beyond expectations and imagination. Change your minds and change your attitudes. Dating a man or a woman always usually is an imagination of what is going to be the outcome in the relationship expectation of what is going to be the outcome of the relationship or actual outcome of the relationship. Whatever the outcome is in a dating relationship, it is always a learning curve. In a relationship, dating goes beyond expectations, imaginations, because in the end, someone is going to gain, someone is going to lose. Now, it's a matter of the heart. Two people's hearts are involved in a dating relationship. But the outcome of how the relationship would be, you never know until you get into that relationship. More like you don't know a good kennel until you actually break it off of the shell. That is when you know if that kennel was actually a good palm kennel. Wouldn't you agree with me? I'm sure you will agree with me. Dating is risk taking. Yes, it is. Because at this point, you're opening up yourself, your vulnerability to somebody that is not your father, is not your mother. You don't even know this man. You don't know this woman. And until you date this man or woman, you really don't know who they are. So it's risky here. A, you could get your heart broken. B, you could also end up falling in love and being in love. Whichever way you look at it, it is 100% over 100%. So, whichever way you look at it, it is 100% over 100%. Either get hurt or you fall in love and it's a union in paradise. Now, I'm going to give you seven food for thoughts in dating relationship. Seven food for thoughts while in a dating relationship. Number one, and this one is very important because this is what will tell what your emotional reaction will be depending on the outcome of this relationship, whether it's negative or it's positive. If you are open-minded, number one, you have to be open-minded. This is an open-minded Thing. It's a journey that you are going through and it is an adventure with your emotions. Haven't you noticed that some people go into a relationship with an already existing preconceived expectation of what the outcome of that relationship will be? And at the end of the day, they get disappointed or they end up disappointed when they realize that their expectation was just an imagination. Now, when you notice that your expectation doesn't become your actual, it is an imagination, that is your cue for you to take a walk. That is not a time for you to try to say, okay, I'm going to try to patch it up. Like I see a lot of people do. I'm going to try to work it out and make it work out for me. Honey, expectation is what it is. It's just an expectation. But then you notice that what you expected did not turn out to be what you wanted it to be. So if it doesn't end up in a paradise where you have a wonderful union, where everything is all Cinderella and the love is all going, that is the time where you take a bow 
and you take a walk. You're going to say, oh, please, Princess Pat, are you just saying that it's easier said than done? Well, honey, if you go into a relationship with an open mind, if it works, it works. It's a mindset. If it doesn't work, no problem. I'll take a walk at least. I have learned something out of that relationship. It will be easy for you to move on. It is only harder to move on from a relationship because you went into that relationship having high expectations that it will end up in a union made in paradise. Number two, food for thought. Always operate within the bubbles. Always operate within the bubbles. Now, in dating, what do I mean by operating within the bubbles? That means everything that you do in this relationship, let it be within the confinement of that relationship. Give yourself your best shot. Do everything humanly possible to make sure that this relationship works out for you. Look at it this way. When you start looking outside the bubbles, guess what you see? Distraction, gossiping, he has said, she said, he said, it should have been done this way, it should have been done that way. At the end of the day, you miss focus. Obstacle is what you see when your eyes is off the goal. Isn't that what they say? So that at the end of the day, you are living in an illusion because there's so much pressure over you. When your expectation becomes your imagination, which can never be your actualization where you have your dream man or your dream woman. Honey, take a bow, take a walk, walk out of that relationship. But if you look within the bubbles and you give it all your best shot, I'm sure you will enjoy the moment. Number three, dating beyond expectations and imaginations. Don't put yourself in a box when you are dating. Don't put yourself in a box when you are dating. Always think outside the box your original way. Be yourself. Love yourself. I mean, indulge yourself in enjoying this relationship with this new person that you have met in your life. Realize that not every relationship, dating relationship that you go into will end up in a marriage union. It could actually end up in a better thing. Hey, better attribute like business expansion. You could meet somebody that could actually help you do your business that you were looking for and it becomes a business partner. You ever thought about, um, it could be that the person was just a helper to give you a helping hand. What about future expansion, relationship expansion? Where even if you didn't end up with this person, this person goes about their own life, marries somebody else, and at the end of the day, they're in a position where you could be recommended for a job. And they remember, oh, I dated a lady. I dated a guy. This was his field of a specialization. I am sure she can help you fix this. He can help you get this done. Well, you may think that what I'm saying right now is selfish, but I'm thinking it is being selfful. Let me say that again. This next sentence that I'm about to say, you may think that I am being selfish. No, I'm not. I'm just saying it's about being selfful. Never compromise your happiness to make any relationship work. If it wasn't meant to be, it wasn't meant to be, it would never be. Dating is not a one way traffic. It is a two-way traffic at every given point in time. And number four, depend on God. Mm -hmm. I know, people are going to be saying, what? Depend on God? Yes. While you're optimistic that the relationship will work out, in order for it to work out, you have to depend on God, the God factor. He's the one that created union. So in order for it to work out, you need to depend on God. I keep hammering on this. You know, when relationship doesn't work out for a lot of people, some people might go into depression. Some people might become um, suicidal. They just start having suicidal thought. Listen to me. Be stoic about it. Every relationship 
mustn't end up in marriage. And if you trust God, it will turn out to be for your own betterment. You will gain something out of that relationship. Now, a lot of people will worry about, how do I move on? You know, what will society say? They said this, they said that. Oh, they're going to talk about this. They're gonna talk. Honey, it's your life. Tell yourself that you deserve the best. Tell yourself that you are the best. Tell yourself that you can be all that and then some more. Peace. Things are never what they seem to be. Changing minds, changing attitudes. Bring ourselves to live a peace and one. Changing minds, changing attitudes. Bring ourselves to live a peace and one. Show some love, hold each other's hands. In confidence we'll make the world a better place We are changing minds and changing attitudes You are watching the Princess Patapatio Show